In this video, we're going to talk through resources for Schoology. So from your main screen on this top menu, you can click on resources and it'll bring you to this page. And there's a couple different kinds of resources that are available. The first one is your personal resources. And this is materials that you've collected over time, whether that's from a full class or individual resources that you've added. And you can use these and put them into your groups or into your courses individually, but they belong to you and are viewable by you. So you have an option at maybe the end of a semester to move an entire class's worth of materials into your resources and it'll put them in a folder like this. And then you could go back and add them to future courses if you needed to or edit them and move them into courses. Or you can move individual folders or individual items into your personal resources. Uh, so when you uh, click on this, you'll see kind of everything that you've added to your own stuff. In the public resources, this is just all kinds of materials that have been added from people all over the world. And you can search by subject or level, or you can just put in a keyword and it'll pop up tons of materials that other people have put together. So right now I'm teaching earth science and we're studying winds. So I might just put in this keyword wind and just see what people have put in here, right? There's so many different kinds of things that are available. And you know, maybe I'll click on something and it'll inspire uh, an idea and maybe I can use that resource or modify it for use. Um, but it's just kind of a way to crowdsource other things that people are doing by searching through the public resources. Group resources are really nice. So if you've created a group maybe with your teaching team or with um, people that are in your department, um, you can add resources to those groups and then anyone in the group has access to that material. So I think it's really helpful for sharing the workload to create these groups. So we've created an Earth Science, Earth Science Honors group and we have all the materials for each unit that are available here. And we've also started to build our question banks for assessments. And these don't archive, so this will be available every single year and we can just keep adding and modifying and putting options into this kind of group set of resources and then pull them into our class as we need to. Um, so this is again a great way to be able to share materials within a teaching team or within a department. And then finally we have apps and we're a Google school so this is where you can get to your Google Drive kind of resource app, Google Drive resource app and it brings up the file picker and so like anything that's in your drive that could be brought into Schoology you can find it in here and you can click on this little gear box and you can import the file and kind of add it or you can edit it um, but really this is just kind of a nice way to make sure that your google drive is connected to Schoology um, but if i'm adding these materials i typically add them within the course so if we navigate to a course and we want to add materials, we can import from resources and all of those resources now become available. So we have the personal, the group and the apps. And so we can find what we're, what we're looking for. So maybe you know already where it is. So if it's in a group, if it's in a folder, then you'll be able to navigate and select either that whole folder or an individual piece of material. So if I say import, and it'll bring in all of those materials to that course. And so we scroll down to the bottom, we see that it's here. And anything that's within this folder, just happen to grab an empty one, but all of those materials will copy in. Okay, and we're going to delete that. If you have a material in your course that you'd like to add to resources, you can click on the gear box. And you can say save to resources for individual items or folders of items and then figure out which collection you'd like to add it to. So home is kind of your personal resources. And if you want to go to group resources, you can click on that. And maybe you want to put it in a particular folder and then it'll take all the materials that were in this particular folder and add them to like put a copy into that folder for use later. Or when you go to options, 
you can save an entire course to resources and it'll create a folder with all of the materials so that you can use it again without having to access archived classes. So hopefully this gives a good overview of resources in Schoology. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have questions.